Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we will learn how we can create and show a search form in our store to allow the users to search for specific bookable products and services. Using our plugin GITH Booking and Appointment for WooCommerce, the users will be able to search for specific products by filtering services available, for example, parking, Wi-Fi, breakfast, among others. And also you will be able to use the shortcodes to show the form anywhere you want in your site. Now, before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Ok guys, this is one of the live demos of our plugin GIT Booking and Appointment. In this case, we offer apartments as bookable products. Now, over here on the left, we can find this search form, where our customers can enter a specific location, select the check-in and check-out dates, and also the number of people. So, by completing this form, the users will be able to find only those apartments that match their criteria. For example, let's search here for an apartment in New York from December the 4th, until the 7th and for two adults right here. Okay, now let's see. In this case, the plugin will show the results only for those apartments in New York that match this specific availability. Now let's go ahead and see how we can create a custom search form for our store. For that, let's go over now to the dashboard in our site. Now we find JIT and we go to Booking. From here, we need to go over to the Configuration tab and Search Forms. From this panel, we will be able to see and manage all the forms that we create. However, as you can see for the moment, we don't have any, so let's go ahead and click on this button to create the first one. To begin, we can enter a name so we can easily identify our form. In this case, I'm going to name it Apartment Search Form. Now, over here below, we will find the list with all of the fields available to include in the form, which you can easily modify by simply enabling or disabling them from these buttons. Now, let's have a closer look at the options. First, we have a search field from where the users will be able to enter certain keywords to do their search. For the moment, we're going to leave it disabled. Next, we have the location, which we do want to keep, so we're going to keep it enabled. But for the moment, we don't need categories or tags, so they will be both, again, disabled. Next, we do want to keep the dates, and let me open this option, because from here, you can decide whether to show two different date pickers or only show the date range picker selector. I'm going to go ahead with the second option, and let's continue with people. This option, I also want to leave it enabled. And let's have a look here. We can decide either to have a people field, a people type field, or a people selector field, which is the option that I'm going to select for our example. Finally, we will find the services field, which only for the moment I'm going to keep disabled, but don't worry because we will actually come back to have a look at this option in more detail. Finally, we will find below the fields the Options section, from where we will be able to customize our form. For example, we can decide on the layout, either vertical or horizontal. To begin, let's go ahead with the vertical layout and then we will come back to see the horizontal. Also, you will be able to decide how you want to show the results, either in a pop-up or in the shop page, which is the option that I'm going to show you right now. And finally, you can also decide on the colors, but for the moment, I'm going to leave them as they are. Now, let's go ahead and save our form right here. Perfect. Now, let's go back to our search form list. And here we can find the form we just created. The next step that we're going to do is actually copy this shortcode that was generated for our form so we can add it in our homepage. So let's go this one. This is actually the same homepage we saw at the beginning in our live demo. And just like we saw right here over the image, we want to add our search form, which is going to be on the left side, while the right side will remain completely empty. So to begin, let's click here to add a column. Let's search for it. 
right here. And in this case, we want to select the 3070 option, this one. Okay, now we're going to add a new block, which is going to be a group. And from the settings on the right, we can modify the colors, for example, for the text. And I want to make the background white. And now if we scroll down from the padding, I want to enter here 20. That's perfect. Then we are going to add another block because I also want to include a message. For that, let's add a paragraph and I'm going to enter this. Search the perfect house for your holidays. Now we can actually make this a heading. There we go. And also we can center it so it looks much better. And of course, from the settings over here, you can further customize the text. For example, changing the colors like this. There we go. I think that's perfect. Finally, we need to add, of course, one more block so we can actually enter our shortcode. So let's go over here. We select the shortcode and we're going to paste the one that we copied from our plugin right here. There we go. Now, all we need to do is update all of the changes so we can go back to our site to see the results. Let's go ahead. This is the result. As you can see, we have our search form on the left side and the right side remains empty. Now, if you recall, inside the search form settings in our plugin, we had previously configured the layout to be vertical, which is exactly the result we're seeing right now. So to compare, let's go ahead now and change the layout to horizontal. First, let's go back for a moment to edit our page. Over here, we need to go ahead and remove this entire block so we can place the shortcode now horizontally. So let's go ahead and remove all of this. There we go. And also we need to remove this side of the column. Okay. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and insert again a group. This one. Okay. And back to the block settings on the right, we modify the colors, white for the background. And again, we're going to enter 20 for the padding. Perfect. In this case, the only other block that we need to add here will be the shortcode right there. And we're going to paste it. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and update. But before we can see the final result, we need to go first to our search form settings so we can modify the layout. So let's go back to our plugin. Over here, we open our apartment search form. We scroll all the way down and over here in layout, we're going to change it to horizontal. There we go. Now back to save the settings. And now we can go ahead and see our page. And we can immediately see the difference. This is our new horizontal layout. As you can see, thanks to our shortcode, it is very easy to show our form anywhere you want, in different pages, inside the sidebar. It will be up to you to decide where and how you want to show it. Now, I also want to show you another example. For that, let's go back for a moment to our dashboard and we will add a new page. This time, we will create a new page and we will add a sidebar. So let's begin by entering a title. For example, I'm going to name it Room Apartment. Perfect. Next, we're going to also add an image. So we click here and we're going to search for cover. Perfect. And from our media library, we're going to select one of the images we want to use. In this case, I'm going to go with this one. So we add it. That's perfect. And also we're going to enter some text over here just so we can add a little bit of content. For example, I'm going to enter this message, book the best apartment in Rome, which we can change to be a heading and also we can center it. There we go. Next, we are going to go here to page settings and we're going to scroll down all the way to sidebar management. Over here in position, we're going to select right and for the sidebar, we can select any of them. For example, I will go with sidebar two. Next, we're ready to publish our new page. Here we go. And then we're going to go back to our dashboard. And this time we're going to go to appearance and widgets. Over here, we're going to look for the sidebar we have selected, which in this case is our sidebar two. And over here, we're going to add the shortcode so we can paste the one for our search form. So let's go ahead and we search for it. 
Here we go. And now we just paste it. Perfect. Again, let's update here so we can finally go back to our page and see the result. This is our custom page and over here we can find our widget with the search form inside the sidebar. I know this is a very, very basic example, but it helps to show you how you can add the search form using the widgets. Now, there is one more thing that I want to show you. For that, let's go back to our plugin dashboard. If you also want your users to be able to search for apartments based on specific services, for example, parking, Wi-Fi, breakfast included, then you will need to create these services and assign them to each of your products. Let me show you. If we go to Configuration, Services, from this section on the left, you will be able to create as many services as you want. All you need to do is enter a name, a slug if you want to, determine whether or not there is a parent booking service, add a description if necessary, and also manage the price in case you would like to add an additional fee for specific services. Now, in this case, we have already created some services and assigned them to each of our products. For example, if you go to any of our products, like this one over here in the product data section, booking services, we have already added these three ones, air conditioning, TV, and Wi-Fi to this specific apartment. Now, let's go back again to our plugin. If we go now over to search forms, we open it. And here, let's scroll down all the way to services, which, as promised, we're coming back to see in more detail. If we open here, we will find two options. Show services as checkboxes or show services as selector. In this case, let's begin with the checkboxes. And now all we need to do is enable this field. Perfect. Let's go ahead and save it. Going back to our homepage, we can find now inside our search form, over here, all of the services listed in checkboxes so the users can select the ones they're looking for. Now, let's go ahead and also try the second option to show the services in a selector. So we go back. Again, we scroll down to services. And in this case, we're going to try the selector, which for the horizontal layout works much better. One more time, we save. And now back to our homepage, we're going to refresh. And over here, we notice immediately the difference. Instead of having all the separate checkboxes, now we have a selector. And if we open here, then we will be able to select any of the options. Now you are ready to go ahead and create your own search forms to add in your store so your users can easily find what they're looking for. Thanks to our plugin, GIF, booking an appointment for WooCommerce. Well, guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye.